Hello and welcome to today's level two seated exercise class. So in today's class, we're going to be working on our resistance, building our muscular strength. So you're going to need dumbbells, ankle weights, or if you haven't got any equipment, you can use cans of beans or cans of soup just to act as some resistance, even bottles of water. But if you want, I'm going to use the ankle weights. And if you want to find where you can get these, you can just go on Amazon and just type in ankle weights. So it's going to be a 30 minute class and in your rest breaks, please have some water to stay nice and hydrated. If you can't do any exercises or it's too difficult, press pause and continue when you're ready or try the level one class. So let's go into our seat and start our warm up. So onto your seat. And we're just going to start with shoulder rolls. So rolling the shoulders up and around one. And around two, and around three, four, five, six. Get both shoulders up, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Arms out wide, cross them over, under. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice and wide, three, two, one. Shake those arms out. Now twist to the side, back to the middle. Twist to the side. Middle nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, just get those legs going side to side, side across, side across, side across, side across. Keep it going. Nine big steps across eight, seven, all the way across six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we can do some marching on the spot. So up and down, up. And down, get his legs going. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Knees in the middle, bring them out and in. One, out, in. Two, out, in, three, out, in, four, out, squeeze them in, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, two more, out, nine, one more, out, ten. Good, shake those legs out, have a quick bit of water, and we'll get started with our Weighted resistance workout. So getting your resistance, wrapping it around your arm if you've got the ankle weights, if not, holding your dumbbells. See, the good things about ankle weights is you don't have to hold them in the hand, you can just strap them to the arm. So, our first exercise is going to be seated punches. Left and right, holding your resistance. We're going to sit nice and tall, working our shoulders back chest and core. So we're going to do it for 30 seconds, rest and then 30 seconds again. So let's get ready. Three, two, one, just go. Hold your resistance and punch. Nice and tall, get those arms going. Punch, 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 punch. Sit nice and tall, engage those shoulders, keep those arms up. Go at your own speed. If you want to slow it down, slow it down. If you want to go faster, go faster. But you want a nice, strong, extension of the arms, 
engaging all those muscles in the shoulder, bicep and tricep. Good, five, four, three, two, one, relax. So you have 30 seconds rest. Sit back and relax, get lots of water in. And drop the weights in between the rest periods. Roll those shoulders out. Good, good, good. So we have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds, punch. Keep punching. Drive those arms. Sit nice and tall and engage your core. Good. Nice big punches. Be trained to be a professional boxer after this. Good. Left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. If there's muscles starting to work, with that bone creeping in, it means we're working. That's good. Five. Four, three, two, one, relax. Good, good, good. We now have a one minute rest, so lots of water. We're going to stick with the punch theme. We're going to change movements. So it's going to be a punch with a twist. So I'm going to punch to the side. So we want to twist all the way around in this one. Punch with a twist. So this is going to work our chest, shoulders, back, but also our core and our obliques because with a twist. So it's gonna be multiple muscles working and because of holding resistance, it's gonna build the strength in those muscles. Still have 20 seconds, so relax. Lots of water, sit back if you want to on the back of your chair. And then we'll get going in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Twist and punch, twist and punch. So you want a 90 degree angle twist with a punch. So your punch should be towards the opposite wall of each other. Nice big twist across, keep it going. Keep your bum flat on the seat at all times. Good, keep that going. Nice big twist and punch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, drop the resistance. You have 30 seconds rest. Now remember to sit nice and tall. So you're supporting the spine and using your back muscles, plus your core muscles when you sit tall. If we sit slumped or using our chair, we're not engaging our core muscles. So it's up to you whether you use your back support or engage your core. We have 10 seconds. Quick go for water, then we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Punch and twist. And twist. Punch and twist. And twist. Keep that rhythm going all the way across. Should you feel your sides working, your shoulders working, all of the upper body. Good, big twists. This is also going to test your balance as well. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good. One minute rest. So next, we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to engage our core, I mean our legs. So we're going to stand, punch, punch, calm and sit down. Then we're going to push, punch, punch, sit down. Now take your time in these ones. So we might want to stand, punch, punch, take a breather, then sit down. I'm going to take your time, but just get as many as you can in, in our time slot, in our 30 seconds. Now, this is going to be tough because we haven't done sit to stands in a while, but 
We're going to work on this in the next few weeks and build the strength in our legs. Got 10 seconds, quick gulp of water. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So let me know in the comments if it's too difficult, stand. Punch, punch, down, and up, stand. Punch, punch, down, stand. Punch, punch, down. You can use your walking knee if you need to. Punch, punch, down. It's making it more difficult because we're holding our resistance, which will make, give us extra weight to push up as we stand up. Down, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good, good, good. 30 seconds rest, have a breather. Let me know if that was too difficult or that was doable. Because if it's too difficult, then you can drop the weights and do it without the weights. It's your choice. Or you go march, march, punch, punch from a seated position. So, a quick gulp of water, we've got 10 seconds, then we go again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Stand. Punch, punch. Down. Stand. Punch, punch. Down, good. Stand, punch, punch. Down, up. Punch, punch, down. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. One more, three, two, one, relax. Good, good, good. You got a one minute rest after that one. That's a tough one, that one. Just sit back and relax. Another minute. Yeah, still got a minute. Lots of water. Our next exercise is going to be we're going to stand, we're going to hold our resistance in our hands, we're going to step to the side, step to the side. Now you might not think that might be that's too easy, but it's going to test your balance. So we're going to side step, side step, holding our resistance. And it's going to be coordination and balance. We're going to be testing. Because you're holding your weights, it's going to put you slightly off balance. Now, you want to go as wide as you can on that step. Really test yourself and how far you can go. We have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Stand up. Side step. All the way across, holding your resistance. Good. If you want to make it more difficult, put some punches in it. Side step and punch. Well, that's really making it difficult because you've got to think of two things at the same time. Keep that going. Should we slightly out breath after this one? Does it feel more difficult than it would normally? Hold your resistance. Make sure to let me know. Good. Nine, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good. So, we have 30 seconds rest. Let me do it again. Roll the shoulders out, drop the weights. Also, let me know in the comments, what, how heavy is your resistance? How heavy are you using? Let me know so I have an idea of what people are using. Remember, if you want to find these ankle weights, they're on Amazon, just type in ankle weights. We have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Stand up, side steps. Across, across. Want to take it quicker? Go quicker. I'm going to go at a nice pace, not too slow, but not too quick. 
the pace you can keep it going. All the way across. Good, holding that resistance. Keep that going. Good, good, good. Nice. That's it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Let's take a seat. We've got a one minute breather. So, next, we're going to work on our core. So, we're going to sit nice and tall and we're going to do resistant side bends. So, it's down to the side. Down to the side, up. We're going to keep it continuous for 40 seconds, going side to side. Now you want to feel it working and you want to feel a stretch on the side as you go up and down. That's your obliques working. And by holding resistance, we're going to strengthen the obliques. So we still have about 20 seconds, so lots of water. Relax, sit back and chill, and then we'll go again. Remember to let me know which exercises you like and which ones you don't like so we can make these workouts enjoyable and something you want to do. So 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Hands by the side, down, up, down. Up. Remember to keep your bum on the seat at all times. Sit nice and tall, feel that stretch as you go to the side. Good, keep it going now. Nice. Up. Arms nice and straight. Up. Down. Up. Feel that working. Down. Up. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Drop the weights. 30 seconds, then we go again. Just sit back and relax. Let me know if you can feel those muscles working. These are our muscles, our six pack muscles, our beach body muscles, whatever you want to call them. Remember to let me know which ones you enjoy, which ones you don't enjoy. So we have 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Hold resistance by the side, going down, up. Keep that bum flat on the seat, just moving your upper torso. Down, up, down, up. Good, keep that going. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. up. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. One minute rest. Next, so we've done the sides, we're now gonna do the middle. So holding your resistance, legs nice and wide. We're gonna come down low to the middle and pull nice and tall. Come down through the middle and up nice and tall. We're going to do that for 40 seconds, rest, and then 40 seconds. So that's going to engage the front of the core and your lower back. So that movement, we do it every single day. It's the hinging up between the core and the back. And it's also going to loosen our, going to increase our flexibility in our hips. So if we keep this movement going, we'll be more flexible in the hip area as well. So really important exercise to do. If it's too difficult to do with the resistance, just use one and go down holding two hands, or you can use no resistance. Your choice. Right, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Holding your resistance in the middle, go down, up, sit tall. Get the back straight at all times. Up, down. Down, up, good, down, 
Oh. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Thirty seconds. Rest. Let me do it again. Can you feel those muscles working? Really kind of helping that stomach area by doing this more. It's actually replicating a sit up. So we're going to work those muscles and burn off those extra calories and ultimately make us look a bit slimmer, which is what we do. The more active we are, the more cal calories we burn. So we have five seconds. Five, four, three, two. One, holding your resistance. Let's go down and up. Down, up, keep it going. Down, up, get that back nice and straight. Down, up, don't twist. We pull up, don't need the dominant side, take over, keep it even. 10 seconds. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Resistance down. Good, good, good. One minute rest. We're already on to our final exercise. And our final exercise is going to work our biceps. So, arms by the side. We're going to pull up. Hold for two seconds, down, pull up, hold for two seconds, down. Now using your resistance, you should feel the biceps work. And when you get to the top, squeeze that bicep and then release. So we have plenty of time, so lots of water. It's our last and final exercise, and let's get as many reps as we can in. But you want to get a big extension and then squeeze at the top. Let's get ready to go in nine. Eight, get a quick bit of water in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Hold your resistance. Down by the side, sit nice and tall. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze, squeeze them in, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Keep it going. Squeeze, release. 10 seconds, squeeze, release. Squeeze. Release one more, squeeze, release. Good, relax. 30 seconds rest, shake those arms out. You should be able to feel those biceps working. That's exactly the muscle we're trying to aim to engage. Also, if it's too difficult to do separate, you can link together and help with the resistance together. It's your choice when you do it separate or together. So we have 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 40 seconds down. Up. Up. Squeeze it in. Sit tall. Remember that posture. Up. Good, nice and low. Arms nice and straight. Up. Up, squeeze it in. Up. All the way up. Keep it going, nice straight arms, all the way up. Straight arms, one more. All the way up, straight arms. Good. Relax. You can take the resistance off now. Drop the weight. So I'm just going to feel your arms feel nice and loose. Shake them up. 
Bring those arms over and under, just to shake them out. Over. You should be able to feel your arms feel a lot lighter and looser now. That's it. Five. You should feel your muscles aching a bit now. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring one arm across the body and hold for nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Change size, one arm across the body. Hold for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms behind the back, turn to the side. And we're just gonna be up, shoulders back, chest out. Hold for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it in, and then pull back again. Hold for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it in, legs wide, just lean down between the legs, hands as low as you can. Hold for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, relax. Just twist it out. Nice and relaxed, nice and loose. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good. Shake it out. Well done today, everyone. So that is your level two. Seated workout. Now let me know which exercise you liked, which ones you didn't like, which ones were too difficult, which ones were just right. And let me know what level of resistance you're using. How heavy is it? Just so we have an idea whether we can make it harder or easier. And what muscles you want to be aiming at. Do you want to be doing more sits and stands or do you want to be doing more arm work, leg work, core work? Let us know. The more feedback you give us, the better. Um, so well done. We'll see you soon. I'll see you Friday for level five. Bye.